What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to run uh, Minecraft a lot faster using Optifine. It's a mod that you can install through the uh, bin, the uh, jot, the minecraft.jar file that you can find in your bin folder inside the uh, .minecraft folder and I'll show you guys how to do all of that uh, right now. So first thing you're going to need to download is, I have it right here. It is called Optifine, and if you're using the newest version of Minecraft 1.2.5, which you probably all should be using it, uh, it's the most updated one. You can get Optifine 1.2.5 uh, HD underscore A2.zip. I'll have this in the uh, description, and it'll bring you to the Minecraft forum, so you guys will know this is a real uh, download. You'll need uh, WinRAR, which you can download as well if you don't already have that, which probably you all do already. Uh, this will allow you to open up the .zip folder. So open this up. <clears throat> just double click on it if you have WinRAR and you'll see all these different files you'll need all of these to install the Optifine mod and this mod will let you uh, change almost every single like video setting inside of Minecraft in order to make it uh, run smoother so say like like my computer's a pretty good computer but it's not it won't run Minecraft you know very smooth if I'm using some of the highest graphics so I need to uh, lower those graphics in order to have it run a lot smoother so uh, I'm going to use Optifine to make it do that so what you need to do after you get Optifine downloaded, you need to go into your start menu and type in percent app data percent. Uh, if you're using a Mac, I'm not sure how to get to the uh, .minecraft folder. You're just going to have to look it up. Just go to Google and type in how to get to .minecraft folder on Mac, and you can figure it out and just follow along from there. Uh, but once you get here, double click on the .minecraft folder, double click on the bin folder, and then go down to the minecraft.jar folder. All right, Double click on that, and you're going to get this screen like this it looks just like the uh, uh, Optifine uh, one just like this as well so the, the one on the right is the Optifine one the one on the left is the dot uh, minecraft or the minecraft.jar one so you have this is like every file that's in minecraft uh, you can look at it. it probably won't make much sense to you guys but uh, this is what you need to put all the new mods and uh, installer type stuff into it so on the right again is the Optifine mod so on the left you take the minecraft.jar folder as you can see up here and you see the meta meta dash inf you need to delete this folder uh, I don't know why exactly this just prevents you from installing mods pretty much uh, so you need to delete the meta dot inf so click on just right click on it and hit delete and then just hit yes this will delete the meta dot inf folder and now you can install the uh, optifine mod and any other mod that you guys want to use so just uh, when you when you delete the meta dot in the meta dash inf folder you're going to go over to the optifine one and uh, hit control a this will select all the folders in the meta.inf or in the uh, uh, Optifine, or you can just you know can uh, hold hold shift and then hit the last one and it'll select them all anyway. But then all you have to do is take all of these and drag and drop it into the Minecraft.jar folder, and then just let go. This will pop up, and you just want to hit OK. This will install all of these different uh, .class folders into or uh, files into this one, and it'll overwrite the other ones, and then you can exit out of these. And now what this does is that will install the Optifine mod into Minecraft. So the next time you log in, make this full screen, uh, go into single player, or it'll work in multiplayer too, but I, I'm just going to go into single player for you guys. Uh, go into new world. All right, I'm going to lower the sound and the music. All right. And now when you go into the game, it's it might be a little choppy. Uh, so this is how it normally runs on my computer. It's pretty crappy. It's really choppy. This is with the uh, standard settings. But now if you go into options and video settings, you have all these different uh, settings, as you can see. Uh, and you can change everything, like, you know, from animations, from the water animated, uh, fire animated, redstone animated. These are all different uh, video settings that you can change to make it run smoother. Um, so I'll just give you guys a test of it right now. So this is it uh, on the standard settings that come pre-installed with Minecraft. You guys can see how choppy it is. Uh, I can barely, you know, move around without it having meat it choppy or anything. Um, you can see, like, the chickens moving around. It's all just, it's not smooth at all. And this is the standard settings of Minecraft. So now I'm going to change all the settings to the uh, the best that they can be for the uh, fastest that they can run. And I'll show you guys what it looks like right after that. Okay, now I changed all the settings to have it be on the fastest settings. And now, as you guys can see, it is a lot smoother for me to walk around. Um, again, I am running a screen recording software right now, so it will be a little choppy as you guys can probably tell here, but it does run a whole lot smoother on my computer when I'm not really running anything else. Uh, but me running a 
uh, recording software right now is going to make it even more choppy as it normally would be. Um, but the way that it works is that it lets you change every single setting pretty much with video. Uh, so you just hit the escape button to come to the menu, go to options, go to video settings, and you can see all these different settings that you can use. Actually, I'm going to reduce this down to uh, normal, and <clears throat> that'll probably run a little bit smoother as well, um, as you guys can see here. But go to options, video settings, and now you can change all these different settings. Uh, and when you when you hover your little mouse over it, it'll actually pop up on the bottom, as you guys can see right there, and it'll tell you which one is faster. So obviously graphics fast is going to be faster than fancy. But if you go into like the details and you don't really know what some of these things do, if you hover over like clouds, <clears throat> it'll tell you that off is the fastest, fancy will be slower, but you get higher quality. Fast will be lower quality, but it'll be a little bit faster. And the default is the set, uh, the default settings that come with uh, Minecraft. So it'll tell you which one is fastest. Um, if you look over onto the uh, right side of it, it'll say, you know, fastest, slower, faster. So whichever one says fastest or faster, you're going to want to choose those over the slower versions because that will make the game run a whole lot faster. Um, you can change, like I said before, if you go into the animations, you can change, like, if you don't want uh, lava to be uh, animated, like, you know, how it uh, flows and, like, fire kind of uh, it throws fire around everywhere, you can turn the animation off, and that way it'll run a little bit smoother. So if you guys look over to where the water is on my game, it's not animated and it's not moving at all. But then when I go into the video settings, go back to animations, go to uh, water particles, turn that on, and turn water animated on. Go back to the game. Now you guys can see that it's a little more uh, animated. You can see the uh, moving particles a little bit, uh, and the pixels are moving. And then when you move like blocks like this, you can see the water rushes in like that. But then if you turn this back off, and go into animations again, turn this back off, and then turn water particles off as well. Go back into the game. And now I try to destroy a block. See, it just kind of rushes right in. You don't really see any other animations because of uh, you turn off the uh, the animation uh, into the settings. See how it just kind of goes straight in? Uh, that's how the animations pretty much work and how the Optify mod works. Uh, it'll let you change every like every single video setting that's in the game and you can make it run a, a whole lot faster um, than the standard uh, version of Minecraft. Because Minecraft, when you first open up the video settings in like a regular download of Minecraft, it only has like five or six settings that you can change. But Optifine gives you a whole new list of settings. You can go into quality and change all of this. Go into performance, change those. Other, it'll let you change those. Um, it'll let you change the max FPS. I think it lets you do that before anyway though. Um, you can go into the texture packs and you can change the texture packs right from there so you don't have to you know log out of the game and do all that uh, details I said before so one of the things it lets you guys do is it lets you see your uh, uh, debugging screen I guess you would call it uh, you hold in uh, whatever computer you're using and you press F3 and it'll bring up this this is the uh, faster version of the uh, debugging screen it doesn't have the little charts or anything but it'll let you know your FPS like up there it says uh, 41 31 you know it's changing every uh, now and then because of the uh, video recording software I'm using, it'll tell you how many, uh, up at the top right, it'll say how much of your uh, RAM you've used and how much it's allocated toward that. Uh, it'll tell you the seed of your map if you guys want to use that uh, to give to people uh, so that you can, uh, I don't know, go back to it if you want to restart it. Uh, it'll tell you what kind of biome you're in, like right now I'm in the jungle biome on the left hand side. It'll tell you your X, Y, and Z coordinates of where you are on the map. Uh, it'll just give you, you know, a few extra details if you guys wanted to see that. And if you want to bring in the actual uh, charts and everything, you go into other and then you click on the fast debug info and you turn that off. This will let you have the charts and everything. So now if I go back and press F3 again, so now you can see the charts in the uh, right hand corner and the left hand corner. You can see uh, when the spikes happen. And if you like, you know, if the game is lagging or whatever, you guys can see what you're doing when it lags. So like when I destroy a block, it should, uh, the chart should uh, go up a little bit right there, as you guys can see. It goes up, you know, just a tiny bit. Um, when you destroy things, when you place things, it, it's just to see that spike right there when you place things. The spikes go up, you know, every time you do something, you move or you place a different block. So if you guys wanted to do, I don't know, debug your game or uh, change any of the settings so it runs a little bit smoother, you can do it that way. So this is the uh, Optifine mod for 1.2.5 of Minecraft. I'll post a link in the description for WinRAR and Optifine so you guys can download those. Uh, and I showed you guys how to install this earlier anyway. So I hope you guys like this video. If it does help your... Uh, Minecraft game out, uh, please let me know. Just post a comment in the description. So I hope you guys like this video. Post comments down below of what you guys use, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, thanks, guys.